Come on in. Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill and I am so excited about today's Dutch Star. Uh, so I'm coming to you live from Frederick, Colorado here at Trans West Truck Trailer RV. And I cannot wait to walk you through this brand new 2023, 2023 floor plan. So Marlon, as usual, I like to start my RV videos from the inside out. Please go ahead and take her on back. Uh, today's coach is really special. Um, it was kind of fun, you know, when they first came out with this new floor plan, this is the 4325. Um, I was really, really, really excited about it. It answers so many questions so many, so many of my guests have had uh, in terms of storage and capacity, uh, in terms of living space, and actually having a coach that isn't just nice to be in on vacation, but could be a second home very easily, or even your home away from home. So Marlon, please go ahead, take her on back. Let's start in the bathroom. This is one of the benefits that we're going to have on the 4325. It is a bath and a half model, but look at this vanity. You've got two huge sink areas and there's so much room back here behind your sink. So as you know, a lot of what happens when we get out and we're camping is we're trying to find a place to put stuff. So today I have my handy dandy measuring tape. For those of you who don't like my measuring, go ahead and switch to the channel right now because we're gonna measure a lot today. Um, so the back of the faucet, you have almost 10 and a quarter inches. So a lot of space back here on this area. But you know, when you wanna put your you know toothbrush holders out, your soap dishes, this 52 inches of depth or of width and the 10 inches of depth give you a ton of space to keep your Kleenex box, your Q-tip holder, all of those things. And then take a look at this. This 4325 has so much medicine cabinet space. So two 110 outlets, big, big capacity here for a flat iron, for your hairbrush, for any of those things. And again, 52 inches. This is a little over eight inches deep. Um, so tons of space here. Uh, you know, if for those of us who are spending time on the road, this is 12 inches uh, at the entrance. It actually goes a little bit uh, higher uh, inside, so almost 14 inches to the top there. So really, really fantastic space for those of you that are trying to have all of the amenities that you want with you on the road. Another great feature here, take a look at this. You can never have enough space to keep your towels. You could have a spot to keep beach towels and a spot to keep your, uh, your bathroom towels. You also have these two fantastic full extension drawers. They come all the way out. And these are not, you know, your run-of-the-mill drawers. So first of all, they're uh, 21 inches deep, but they're also, your height here is really spectacular. Just about six and a half inches uh, of clearance in these drawers. So really, really nice space. And then uh, just about nine and a half inches of depth on the inside. Um, the reason I run these measurements off, of course, is for those of you who are really considering this coach, you probably want measurements. You probably want to be able to go out and buy those inserts, those toiletry cubby things that you want to get from uh, the container store. So I really try to do this for those of you that are seriously interested in buying a 4325 um, because I think that this is so much nice room. Now, another great spot back here. We have another two full extension drawers. What a great location to be able to keep, you know, anything like your socks, underwear, you know, bathing suit tops, bras, whatever it might be, uh, back here in your coach, a nice, nice small little cubby, and then another hanging cabinet here. So, so much wardrobe space in this RV. Um, for his and hers, uh, one of the things I run into a lot is wardrobe space comes at a premium, as does pantry space. And this coach has got tons of both. It's also got a really nice commode. This is a great comfortable spot. You can put your phone down here, you know, call it the office, whatever you may want it to do, but plenty of room here. And then on top of it, you have, of course, your egress door. So if there wasn't an emergency and you needed to be able to escape, you could do that here through this door. And not only that, you have all of these nice opening windows throughout the coach. So for those of you looking for fresh air, you've got tons of fresh air available to you right here. Um, and then you also have power blinds throughout. So I have a little button here and I love the way that they've done this. So most of our uh, MCD power shades on this coach 
are going to be done through a remote. But of course, if you're in the restroom and you want some privacy, you might not have remembered to bring the shade with you. So there's your day shade and your night shade both. Um, another great feature about this coach that I really like, really great location up here for your robe hook. If you're coming out of the shower, it's right where you're going to need it. And then if we can pop around this area here, you'll note that we have our Aquamizer light. This is just to turn the light on. So Marlon, if you want to go ahead and just show that blue light there in the corner, that little Aquamizer light, I can turn that on and off. When I turn that on, when it turns red, it means the water's hot. So I can go ahead and get my hot water running. Also here, you'll see that we have our floor heat. So bath floor heat, high, medium, and low. So you have a heated bathroom floor. Another great feature of this coach is this cathedral ceiling. As you can see, with your cathedral ceiling up here, you've got a lot better height. So for those of us that are tall, getting into the shower, I can actually adjust this up even higher so I can have uh, enough room to go underneath the, the rain head. And then I also have my wand, which is on an adjustable slide. So if I am sitting down and shaving my legs, I can still have the water coming on me, especially if it's cool. Another fantastic feature of this coach that you'll see is here we have towel racks on the outside of the door. It's very, very handy to have towel racks. And then in terms of measurements, I know that they've offered these to you in the books, but I'm just gonna tell you right now, I'm looking at 37 and a half inches in terms of width. And then in terms of depth, I'm looking at a clear 30 inches. So those are real measurements on, on this shower. I also love the fact that I have a little shelf here with the ability to put a uh, bottle of shampoo and conditioner and then a nice place down here below to keep my razor and my soap. And then of course, as I mentioned earlier with us recycling water, you just turn this to recycle. So this Aquamizer shower system, when it's turned to the recycle feature like this, will continue to, to take that 105 gallons and loop it through so that you don't fill up that 85 gallon gray water tank until you flip it back over and then the water will start coming out of the faucet after it's hot. So a nice little device there that shows you uh, when you're ready to rock and roll and take a shower. Now we haven't even gotten to the best part yet. Take a look, all these drawers again, so much storage in this coach. It's just amazing. Uh, these drawers, for those of you looking to buy inserts for them, again, 17 inches deep, about 14 inches across here, and then overall height, once again, just about seven, seven and a half inches of clearance to the top of this little ridge here for all three of these nice soft closed drawers. Now in 2023, when we redid our cabinetry, I think one of the nice things that we were able to do is we really kept it high quality, high class, but also maybe a little more modern looking. Now down here we have seriously a cubby. This cubby is literally 25 and a half inches deep and it goes all the way back 25 inches deep it's three feet um by 25 by 20 and a half so this am amount of storage back here for anybody who wants to keep things um firearms things that you might not want to keep at uh, an arm's reach in your coach you can really hide a lot of stuff back here also would be a great place to keep totes but most importantly for someone like me i would be able to buy one of those laundry baskets and just fill it right into that area open this up you've got a place to keep your lights your darks and then your you know um more delicate types of clothing all in one area here so for those of you looking to live in a coach if you've never tried to figure out where to put your laundry this is incredible space um, also, huge, huge amount of closet room here. Marlon, if you want to just pop in here. We were watching some Andrew Steele videos earlier today, and the guys hadn't seen him, and I was like, you know why? Because I'm the only one. I'm the only one that matters. That's why you don't watch those Andrew Steele videos, Marlon, because we are the best. No, but so Andrew does a great job. Uh, super nice guy. Uh, you know, one of the differences that you have here at TransWest is we do three videos a day. Um, and when we do our three videos a day, you can actually buy an RV from one of us. You can call us. You can call me at 303-562-8659. You can text me. Um, if you call me or text me, I will be the person that walks you through the purchase process. Um, I will be the person that helps you find what you're looking for in your dream coach. Take a look at that. 
Is there nothing better than a full length mirror? Making sure you're, you know, looking good, dressed to the nines, ready to hit that campsite. And those cute little hiking shorts. Or maybe you should change those cute little hiking shorts. <laughs> uh, no. But no, so I think it's really interesting. But one of the things I was watching in Andrew's videos is that he opens all these cabinets, but you don't get to actually see inside of them. So I told Marlon today, we gotta make sure we really show everybody inside of these cabinets. Here, come this way, my friend. Because there's two 110 outlets up here. There's a ton of space up here. For those of you that are looking to buy like little cubby boxes, uh, we are talking 13 and a half, almost 14 inches to the edge of that cabinet right there. And then the height with these little boogers, these get remember these little little brackets, just about eight and a half, nine inches in terms of overall clearance. So tons of tons of room up here for you to be able to put those little shoe boxes or little crates that have all the things that you might want to take with you. Maybe you're into sewing, maybe you're into crafting, maybe you just have like batteries, light bulbs, things like that you can actually store up here in little containers, lots of room. Um, also, there's these little grommets here that come through. You can run the cord from that side through to this side and keep your iPad plugged in and, uh, and juice running to it. You can also get your laptop running. Um, you'll notice here we have this fantastic new headboard. I love the shape of it. You'll notice that that headboard is uh, next to this really beautiful wallpaper. So this wallpaper is actually a special. Um, we took this from a different Dutch star and changed the wallpaper out. I really loved this wallpaper. I also liked this really um, kind of nondescript pattern, uh, pattern on the fabric on the Lambrequins. So I took this and I brought it throughout the entire coach. I've also done a uh, special where we've swapped the leather. So we've got a really beautiful, nice light leather in this coach. So lots of specials. Uh, because this is a big deal. This is a brand new floor plan. And I love the way that they have just this trim detail of all of this backlighting that you can see throughout the RV. Of course, up here we have our speakers running from the front of the coach throughout the house. And then above us, we have a brand new uh, design feature ceiling. So beautiful new ceilings for the 2023. And again, talking about this coach having livable space, you'll see that there's no carpet in this coach. So even here on this slide, because of more floor, we are able to use a hydraulic lift to lift this full wall slide in. This is the whole length of the coach. And pick that up, bring it in. And in doing so, we can have heated floors below the floor here. So this is one zone. Marlin's in the rear zone. Of course, that's the bathroom. I showed you how to operate that. Here's where you would operate the bedroom heated zones. Um, but it's so nice you could have heated floors in here. And then another great feature on the Dutch Star is that you can open this window here as well as the two on either side of the bedroom. So you can actually have uh, three windows open in this, re in this uh, bedroom. So getting really good ventilation at night. And then above this, you can see I have the uh, awning package drawn. So down here, you can see where if you had a lot of sun coming in here, above your uh, nightstand here, not nightstand, but above your dresser, there's actually an awning and it's pretty breezy out today. As you can see, the way that these are anchored down, uh, they're gonna be much more wind resistant than your standard uh, Gerard awnings would be. So these awnings are power and you just you use a little button here to pull them in and out and they come up so that if you don't want it to obscure your view, you just push and hold this button. It's right here underneath. And then on the right hand side, Marlon, you can also show that there's also another 110 outlet up there for someone if you wanted to keep a night, like a clock plugged in or um, any kind of, again, charging devices are usually the best thing these days. Um, but so really, really great feature that you have that window covering. So if you do have sun beating in on you and then you have these great drawers. I mean, we've talked today about so much storage space. Uh, now down here, you want to put your computer plugged in. You want to go ahead and, you know, like log in your PlayStation 5, whatever it is that you might be. You've got HDMI pre-wired. Uh, this has got an in-motion satellite system for DISH. Uh, and then this is a 43-inch Samsung high-definition television. These 4K TVs are smart TVs. So most of our clients these days are using Wi-Fi. Uh, we ordered this coach with the new upgraded uh, WineGuard uh, Wi-Fi system as well. And I've got a little sheet. I'll show you on that. Uh, again, more closet space. Once again, just so much room. So you've got two of these, five drawers, so much living capacity in this RV. And then on top of it, I love 
all this underbed storage. It's really a big deal. There's a lot of storage here. These go all the way back. So I better get my measuring tape out for that, huh, Marlin? How deep is it? Well, let's just go ahead and measure because this is a lot of storage. And again, I hope that these measurements are useful for those of you who are really looking to buy a coach. 64 inches is the total uh, depth that you have there. The width here between the two, 25. And then up, you can see you've got just about seven and a half inches of clearance, but so much room. Uh, we've got new designed chairs for your uh, dining table as well. So it's a new design for us this year. And then these are the extensions that go into the table itself, um, but they're just super nice. I think what Numar does that's so smart is they make them really, really flat. You could put both on one area. So you could use that whole area, the whole second area, but they're comfortable. And they're, you know, this is like a, the kind of chair you could actually, if you didn't have enough chairs outside, maybe you were short, uh, you know, a lawn chair or something around the fire pit, you could use this out there as well. Um, another great feature on this Numar in the bedroom area is over here. If you have a CPAP machine, you have about 10 and a half inches of width. And then the depth here is going to be about 29 and a half, almost 30 inches. And as you can see, you've got two USB ports here and then two 110 outlets. And those can run in. And then you can take your cord and run your cord through and out while having your door shut so that you could uh, keep everything plugged in without having the cords hang out. And then of course, when it's time to go, you just pull them in. You've got a great place here to keep all of your sultry novels and your water bottles. And of course you could run that USB cord out here to the nightstand and charge your phone as well. So super cool feature there. Um, in 2022, we added an all lights off KIB switch up here where you could turn all your lights on and off and control things. But in 2023, we took it up a very significant notch. In 2023, we came up with this 10 inch monitor. This bad boy is the key to your world. It is so nice to come in here and literally I can go, okay, I want to go to the stool room, right? STL room, stool room. I want to turn everything off. I just touch the button. Everything's on, everything's off. It's so incredible how handy this is. Oh, I didn't show the cool toilet paper holder. There's one of those in the rear bathroom too. Just so you know, I just built a house and I put those in my bathroom because they're neat and I love the way they work and they don't get all wonky. You know how like the, oh, I just flushed the toilet, Marlin. Shoot, that's my white pants. Anyhow, so you know how like toilet paper holders get kind of all wonky every once in a while? These don't do that because they're sitting up. So they don't get like where they start to go like this after time. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so many things to say. Take a look at all this storage. This is an incredible amount of space. Again, like when we talk about this, we're talking about like, I don't know, up to here, 10 inches. Back here, 15 inches of space. I mean, so much room, another 10 inches of clearance right here. Uh, so great, great storage capacity here. More in your, in your uh, medicine cabinet. These are not quite as deep, but we are at five and a half inches on, on your medicine cabinet. So totally, totally doable for keeping a flat iron. And then again, nice place to keep some toilet paper, some towels down here, hand towels. And then of course, Whoever gets up first in the morning gets to have this little drawer here to keep their toothbrush and toothpaste. And then back here, again, more space for storing. For me, washcloths and hand towels are something you always want to have access to for your guests. So super nice there. Uh, here's the brain of the operation. So this is going to be where your switchboards are. Um, I was watching, again, that Andrew Steele video. It was on a really cool old Prevo. Um, but we were, they were, he was talking about how your breakers were so nicely, like, orchestrated. And I want to show that to you because Numar does such a great job at making everything super like well laid out, bundled nicely, easily accessible. So for those of you who are worried about getting on the road and having to take care of their own coach, you've got everything that you need right there at your fingertips. And then again, here's those little shades. 
And this is just so nice because that window opens. So you have an opening window down here and then you have your, your fan up top here. Um, all of the fans on this coach are fantastic fans. Um, the 43 foot floor plan. So what happens when you get into a Dutch star versus a Ventana? What are the differences? Okay, so we all know uh, one of the main differences on the Dutch star versus Ventana platform is gonna be having all tile floors versus having some carpet that you would have a Ventana. Um, you also get 150 gallon fuel capacity on a 43 foot Dutch star. You do not get that on the 43 foot Ventana. You get only get 100 gallons. So extra 50 gallons of fuel. But the Dutch star has uh, an independent front suspension, which is really unique. So instead of the I-beam front suspension, you've got this independent front suspension. And if you actually go, we have a few videos where you can go up and underneath the coach and learn how it works. It's really quite fascinating. But for those of you that are looking for something that's gonna last a little bit longer, that's more of a residential experience that you're gonna keep for a long time and live in, I highly recommend uh, to consider spending the extra cash to get into the Dutch star because there's a lot of benefits there. Um, and then on top of it, you go from an eight kilowatt generator that you would get on a 43 vent Ventana to a 10 kilowatt generator. So this coach has 10, uh, 10 K generator. It has three 1500 BTU, uh, air conditioners, as well as heat pumps. It has hydronic heat. So in other words, uh, there's a tube of liquid that is being, uh, boiled in your Oasis hydronic system under the coach. It's pushing that liquid through that tube. That tube is then pushing air over the top of the tube and heating your coach at much cooler temperatures than you can heat with your, uh, with your heat pumps overhead. And then on top of it, so you've got heat pumps, hydronic heat, like we talked about that liquid in the tube. Now this is where you get in-floor heating, which is electric. So you also have a three zone heated floor. So bathroom, bedroom, and then galley area, all heated. And then you've got your dual loop Oasis system that is going to give you zone control as well. So you can keep that bedroom really cool and keep this front half of the coach really warm, heat just the living room, whether it be with your hydronic, your floor heat, or on a really cold day, you could use both and really keep this coach, coach nice and toasty, but leave those bedrooms open, uh, turn on the fan, and have a really nice, cool rear of the coach so that you can sleep well. The other cool thing is they actually took the little floor cover in the back in the bed in the bathroom. Even that cover is heated. So if you were, for instance, trying to keep it nice and cool in the rear of the coach, but you still wanted to have your toesies warm when you got it to go potty, you could do that in the Dutch star. So this coach is super, super high functioning. It's also sexy. I mean, look at this sink. Look at these faucets. I love all of the smoked gray uh, stainless that you have throughout the coach. It's just, you know, the tile, the subway tile, you know, in glass is so beautiful. And like I said, I designed this coach myself. I really loved um, the wallpaper that came in some of these Dutch stars. So again, I changed out the valances. So we've got a simple pattern throughout the coach. Uh, this pocket door is designed so that you can get in here when the coach is closed. This is where you would plug in your uh, hose attachments for your um, central vac. And then this is where you would have your kick plate. And now this is where we get to the magic. Check this out. Seriously, oh, open it. You have a wine cooler. Um, I'm gonna pull this plastic out just so you can see how cool this is. Um, so this is the coolest thing. When I saw this was coming out, um, you know, and, and they have them in the Essex, they have them in the King Air, but you can get yours in the Dutch Star. So you slide out, you can have all of your bottles nicely laid here. If you're not a heavy drinker, you can keep bubbly water in here. You can keep pop in here. You can keep all sorts of stuff in here because we all know how much uh, room uh, cold beverages take up and you can set your temperatures independently. So I'm just super in love with the wine cooler. The other thing that they've given us, which is so nice, is a place to keep all of our glasses. So now you've got a nice cabinet to keep your glassware. But most importantly, um, let's go ahead and measure the depth of this because this is important, right? Okay, so this one's gonna be about 11 and a half inches deep. And then we're gonna go to the entrance. Uh, we'll go 13 inches. And then we'll do another one up here. This one is about, I can't see it, I'm guessing 11. So, but pretty cool, right? And then in terms of width here, let's call it 22 inches across. It's a little bit wider on the inside of this door but so nice here, but check this out. Anybody wanna put their toaster oven somewhere 
Anyone want to keep their coffee pot on the counter with their coffee beans? I mean, this space here is just incredible. Um, I love this. 25 inches. We'll go to the inside of the tile here by just over 25 inches. So 25 by 25 area here where you can keep all of your appliances out while you're cooking. I mean, you can keep your toaster here. You can keep a, you know, a rice cooker out here, whatever it is that you, your air fryer. I mean, this space is so incredible. I cannot tell you. I, I don't know how they figured out how to get so much more room in this kitchen. Um, you still have all of your great pockets up here, places for olive oil and balsamic, your full extension slide outs here. Um, tons of room up here for dishes, I think, is probably what I would use that for. Um, spices go up here, of course. Really nice spice collection the whole way across. And then, of course, we've got our Whirlpool convection and microwave oven with lots and lots of room. Um, I just think that they've done so much uh, to make everything make sense in this RV. It, it's just incredible. So, so many nice accoutrement this year. Great storage here in this cabinet. And then look at how much counter space you have when you put out this extendable island. So this is just really, really fantastic. Um, this is buying you about another 27 by 14 and a half inches of space on a countertop that's already 32 at its most narrow point. Thirty-two by six, just over six feet. I mean, wow! Just amazing amount of cooking space. And of course, we can turn these over because they have cutting boards on top of them, and use this as our cooking space. So I mean, you can turn both of these over and use this whole entire kitchen as prep space. So if you want to be the belle of the ball and cook the best meal in town, you can do that, and you can do it inside, or you can do it outside because this is still removable. Um, they gave you a really cool Bosch cooktop in the Essex, but you can't take it out. And I love to make bacon and I like to cook fish outside of my RV. So I have a 2022 Numar Superstar and one of the best things that happened to me is I was able to get one set of pots and pans. Um, I use an all cloud pot, all cloud pot and pan. Um, because of the way that the true induction uh, cooktops work with this magnetic heat as opposed to fire heat or coil heat. Um, I could put a paper towel down on this cooktop, put my water um, to boil on top of the stove in my pot and it would get hot like in, like a third of the time as it would as a traditional burner. Um, on top of that though, it doesn't like leave marring or scarring on my pans. My pans look much light, like much cleaner, much nicer over time. Um, and because I can take it outside, I don't have to worry about using my Coleman outside. I can use my cooktop inside and outside both by just unplugging it, plugging it outside. So just love that feature of, uh, of the Numar in general. Um, a new feature for 2023, of course this car, this coach has like all new end caps, all new headlights, all new everything. But take a look at this farm style, uh, dark stainless uh, dual basin sink. I love the smaller section over here, the larger section over here, big pots and pans, lots and lots of depth. I mean, a truly residential style sink, and you can cover up just one side of it or leave both open uh, while you're on the road. They have these nice handy little catches here. So even though it's a farm style, you can still keep your covers on while you're going down the road without worrying about them coming off. And then down here, you have your full extension uh, place to keep all of your cleaning supplies. Nice little trash can right here, but also you've got your cooktop storage covers. So you can store the covers you're not using here under the sink. Um, and then over here on this side, you've got a really nice amount of space if you wanted to keep maybe a baking sheet, um, you know, whatever you might want to use, whatever you might want to use in your kitchen. But check this out. This is where it gets mad, mad crazy, folks, mad crazy. How about this? Look at the pantry space in here. This is so incredible. I don't even know where they found this. How did they make this happen? We are talking 28 inches deep. At the width of the door, it's 15, uh, 14 inches. On the inside here though, 17 inches across. I mean, this is just nuts. And then 11 inches, call it 10 and a half, uh, between shelves. I mean, 
you just have so much room here. So I know we were talking earlier about your rice cooker and we're talking about your, you know, your toaster oven and your coffee pot, but I've never actually had a place to keep all those things. I have so much room in this pantry. I love the, the 4325. Just so you know, I'm like, I'm in love with this coach. I just think it's so fantastic. A water dispenser here on the door. Of course, you've got a whole house water filter, but then you've got another water filter filtering your water here. You've got your vegetable and fruit drawer. I love my refrigerator. I use this for meats, cheeses, bacon, all my fancy stuff. I drop this down. Always have a few bottles of Lamarca in the refrigerator. Got to do it. If you're camping with kids, you could put a lot of milk in this shelf. No, I'm just kidding. I don't really don't like, my kids don't even like milk. Um, they're old enough now. I, I, listen, I gave my kids milk when they were growing up. Now that they're teenagers, they don't drink as much milk. I'm not a bad mom. Okay, well, here we go. So check this out. Ready? All day? Yeah, let's do it. Let's put all of the blinds down at one time. That sounds great. Oh, how about this? Maybe it's time to watch a movie. Let's do all night. Let's put all the blinds down all at one time. I mean, so MCD Power Shades, a big differentiation between Numar Dutch Star and Numar Ventana. Uh, this is not an inexpensive option. It depends on how you're camping, but for a lot of us that are out there camping, I'll put that shade down in the front in just a minute. This is worth its weight in gold. So you've got one remote here for the front, and then you've got another remote I've got up here on this refrigerator for the back. Um, but how nice is it you're going to bed and all you gotta do is push your all night shades, push the down button, everything goes down. It's bedtime, super fast, no crawling over the couches, making sure you didn't, what's the worst thing in the world? Is it not the worst thing in the world when you are trying to sleep and you realize that you forgot to close one of the blinds and there's just that light coming through and you were gonna be able to sleep in for the first time in like a week and a half because you finally didn't have a conference call or something to take care of early in the morning or early morning hike scheduled and the dang it window is open. I feel that. I have a Ventana. I don't have power shades. I wish I had power shades. I love this coach. All right. Hey, Andrew, I think as a you know consolation prize for all of our hard work, we should just get a Dutch star for the staff to use. I mean, Marlon likes this idea, right? Yeah, we, we, I mean, it, it, we, we, it would be research, Andrew. We need to do the research. All right, look at the size of this. This is so crazy. All right, so seriously, 10 inches deep. How wide are we? We're about nine and a half inches wide. We go all the way back here at the bottom, the 13 into the top here. We're at 17 inches. And we get two bays like that as well as this top bay, which again is another 17 inches by 11 inches by six inches. I mean, this is so much room. And then your ice dispenser goes right there. I mean, how many popsicles could you fit in there? How many jello shots would you have in there, Morgan? I mean, Morgan, you could get in a lot of trouble in this coach. But don't you go telling Morgan I said that again, Marlon. Marlon always rats me out. Look at this pantry space. Are you kidding me? I thought we just saw all of it. No, all your canned goods, push and release, full extension pantry doors. I mean, and you get six of these things. This is incredible. This is so much space. And of course we're froofy. So when we open the door of the Dutch star, the pantry lights come on. So if you're going to sneak Girl Scout cookies, don't put them in the pantry because your wife will catch you. Okay, now we're in the best part of the house this is where we sit and play dice and uh talk about our lives maybe sit back relax enjoy the fruits of our labor or we have the, the best dining experiences this is a lot of room so i could be super comfortable here but if i had company come over again we saw those two inserts Look at how deep this goes. And then I can put my chairs here. So I could sleep, I could seat six people here so simply. Um, how deep is that, Katie? Well, let's just go ahead and measure. 62 inches. Now check this out. What's the best thing about this dinette? The best thing about this Euro dinette is that right here, you have seven and a quarter inches by 21 inches across to keep your French press your, your sugar uh, and your salt and pepper and your Tabasco sauce in Cholula 
and sriracha all right there at the table. Even if you move it, all your stuff stays put. This is super fantastic. Then, I know we just keep saying the S word, but there is even more storage underneath here. These little bad boys are 18 inches deep, 14 inches across, and they're just about five inches tall. Um, this is where I would keep my laptop, all my charging cords, um, and then up here, I don't, you guys, you're gonna have to buy more stuff. Look at this, coffee cups, pint glasses, margarita glasses, martini glasses, six and a half inches deep. Clearance here is six. Clearance inside here though, gives you about, oh, come on, eight and a half. Um, so great space above. Decorations, you could keep your like cute little plastic flowers up there. Okay, um, seriously, this is all the Monopoly, Scrabble, Yahtzee games you could ever want. Game Central right here. Gotta love that. So much room. Uh, these run at their deepest, almost uh, 16 and a half, almost 17 inches deep at the shallowest point right here. This one's a, kind of a cheater. You've got about 15 and a half inches. But still, I mean, such incredible space. So much storage in this coach for those of you looking to live there. Now, see these uh, Lamberquins here? There's my sniffer. This is sniffing my carbon monoxide, my temperatures. This is my little sniffer. Um, those Lamberquins were supposed to look like this, which I love this pillow. But if you don't love this pillow and it's all over your coach, then it's a lot. Um, what I like about this is this is very, very neutral and you can accommodate a lot of different uh, tastes. Now we talked a little bit earlier about our KIB mobile app. Let's, let's do that first, ready? All right, so mobile app is cool because it, I've got this little, I can send this to you by the way, it's a, like a little uh, PDF that I have, but you can change if a guest is using it, what they have access to, what the owner has access to, what the sales department can use, what the manufacturer can use, and what admin can do. Um, this is just to, to do an unreleased system install. Uh, but as you can see, configuring the coach can be done by your OEM or your admin. But as a salesperson or a guest or an owner, you're not gonna mess up your system. You don't have access to that stuff, but you can get in there if you need to, to address the system. Um, you've got these lighting pages which show you your kitchen, living room, and you can turn everything all, all off or all on with one click of a button. Um, here's your fans, so your stool room, your kitchen, and your bathroom. You can turn them on high, medium, or low, and then rain override it would be, of course, if it's raining outside. Uh, so you can set everything up uh, here. Again, this is all on this app, and these pages that I'm showing you are all pages that you're going to have on your phone. So you can see your uh, battery charge, you can see that we have our generator on, running, um, all your HVAC stuff. You can turn your heat up and down for your living room, kitchen, and bedroom, all here on your phone. You can turn things on and off. You can change your zones. Really, really cool feature there. You can also measure your tanks. You can turn your water pump on or off from your phone. Um, all, of your, uh, all of your readings, again, are here on this KIB app. So this is, this is a really, really cool new feature for 2023. The other thing we talked about here, and I can send this to you as well, this coach we have opted to have this higher 5G Cat6 uh, modem option. This is called the Everest system versus the Denali or Spruce, which is our standard system that you've seen most of the time. So these are all the new benefits. I can email this to you as well. And then as I mentioned earlier, um, so we changed out a lot of things here. So we've changed out this leather. So this leather on this uh, foldout, for instance, should look like this. Come over here, Marlon, and look at this. This is a nice, this is, you touch this spot a lot. This is probably a good place to have this kind of leather, but we're used to this beautiful supple leather. So what I did on this couch is I swapped this leather off of the couch and I put this leather on the couch. So what we have in turn is this gorgeous look. Now this is a synthetic product, right? So this is not gonna be something where you have to worry about it looking um, you know, poor after the first year and a half, two years. It's always gonna look beautiful, very easy to clean. Um, I always like to use Meyer soap because uh, it doesn't have a lot of that grease cutting agents. 
uh, in it, which is not, of course, good for your good cookware. Uh, it's also nice on your fabrics, uh, but easy to clean, right? Um, because it's a synthetic, but you also get this beautiful contrasting look uh, because you have these beautiful dark cabinets with these lovely light couches giving you such a gorgeous look. Now, Marlon, you're like, hey, Katie, how are you gonna get to your tape measure? I'm just gonna crawl across the bed. That's what we do when we're on television. We just crawl around on top of things. Check this out though. All right, for all you tall people out there. Seventy-one inches of glory. Lots of room here for a couple, for my son who is very tall, 55 inches across. Um, great, great sleeping accommodations. Don't show your friends this video if you don't want them to come camping with you, because if they see it, they're gonna wanna come camping with you. Um, there's seat belts underneath here. A little stash spot here. I don't know what you put in there. I'm from Colorado, so don't ask me. Um, no, so seriously though, like, that's a great little stash spot. Like, no one would even know there was anything there. Just saying. Uh, so cool, cool couch. Um, and you know, what's so nice about this couch is it allows you to still get your theater seats. So these are, these are the best theater seats. So these theater seats have, like, do you see this? This is a USB port inside of this controller. So you just push and hold, wait for it. Look at how flat, how low can you go? All right, so yes, I could take a nap here. I'm not really a back, like on my back sleeper, so I like to be in a bed. But if I needed to, I could definitely take a nice siesta right here. Um, got a great place to hold your, some drinks. Both of these, of course, are power. We do have a recliner option as well. Um, people love these theater seats. They're really wide. Then you've got storage here. And look at that. What the heck? How deep is it, Marlon? Well, let's just measure and tell you. This is going to be about, oh, 11 and a half inches deep. That is so nuts. How much room do we have? Let's just take a look and see. Oh my gosh, 11 and a half by five feet. Are you kidding me? No, three feet, uh, 36 inches. So 11 and a half by 36. And then your width going into this compartment, we'll measure from the insides about call it, it says 13. So call it 12 and a half inches. Um, and then of course, so you can keep your remotes up top here, your measuring tape just in case you need one. I know I'm waiting for all the measuring tape comments later on. Hey, you guys, these are live videos. Just so you know, we have not edited or scripted this as you could probably tell. Um, we're doing this live for you here in Frederick, Colorado. If there's questions you have, again, my name is Katie O'Neill. Call me. I went on vacation to Jackson Hole. I think I sold three RVs while I was on vacation, just on the phone. I can text you pretty much everything you need. I'm really responsive. I'm quick on the draw. And I always have my iPad handy. So I love to answer questions. I literally cannot be busy enough. Unfortunately, my phone does not ring frequently enough. If you'd like to call me, again, you'll see the numbers are down below at uh, the beginning and entry of, or the beginning and ending of these videos. We used to have a clipboard. I'm not allowed to use it. I really loved my clipboard. Um, but again, these are live videos. So right now you could actually, oh, I pushed the button. He says, Katie, what did you do? I pushed the button, Marlon, I pushed the button. And I made the TV come up. Yeah, so cool. Oh my gosh, how big is this armrest? You don't have to take a video of this. I'm just gonna measure it. The armrest is 15 inches wide. That is so much arm space. You could have big old meaty arms and totally still all night, all day, everything up at the same time. Look at that beautiful kitchen window. Man, oh man, do I love this coach. This uh, 50 inch uh, smart TV, again, fantastic. Uh, you've got your uh, 110 outlets, your USB ports over here on the side here. You also have more up here. You also have more right here. So one of the things I think I have a big problem with in coaches is not having good power uh, sources. So here we have power sources everywhere. Um, oh, look, at there's the cat toy. Look at, okay, so see here, this is gonna be for the wall light. Sorry, I just had to use it. How cool is that? You get like little wall lights. I don't know, I just think this coach is so awesome. Okay, now we're gonna move this bad boy in. So 
push. Slides right in. Oh, we didn't show off. Can we do it? Yes. The dishwasher. Um, this is so cool too, by the way. It has like all these different adjustable little things that pop up and down. Sort of like wine glasses and uh, silverware. So you can put your stemware. It has little slots for that. This is a really nice Fisher Pagel uh, wash dishwasher. Uh, silverware drawer. Bose sound system up here. Yep, that thing. Your little controller here so you can play your phone, your favorite playlists. Uh, lots of TV remotes. A power button to lock and unlock your baggage doors. This is huge. Not having to go out there with a key and unlock and lock all of them. Fantastic. Oh, I'll bet you this is for the TV. What do you think? Do you think that the TV is unlocked, Marlon? It's always locked. That's like one of the things I forget. Okay, so I lost my phone. Oh, well. Don't call me right now. I won't be able to answer it. All right, let's get in the front here. Do you hear the generator? Okay, so if you hear the generator, that's because your 10 kilowatt generator is here in front, which means your 8.9 uh, liter L9 Cummins engine is in the back. That is giving you 450 horsepower, it is giving you 1,250 foot-pounds of torque, it is giving you a 15,000 pound towing capacity, um, and it is fantastic. Uh, one of the things that's super nice about having this setup though is that if you're running your air conditioner at night and you need to have your generator on, it's not anywhere close to your bedroom. So it's really nice and quiet for you. So that's a really huge benefit. The other benefit of having the pusher, of course, is since there's no engine in the front with a drive tank going down the middle, like I have in my silly superstar, um, I don't have like the full pass through storage here. And when we get outside, we are going to measure some crazy bays because there's so much storage uh, underneath this coach. Um, all of that being said, though, you can see the whole entire coach right here. There's actually a bird hovering. No, just kidding. That's a graphic, but that is your coach. Um, and that is, if you were to back up, like this is a crack in the ground. You can actually see like the cracks in the ground. You can see like the rain gutter right here that runs through. So this is so cool. If there was a rock here and you wanted to hit it, you could just aim right for it. Don't do that. Okay. So camera control, things that are really nice about this. I can, when I turn my right turn signal on, it shows me what's on the right of me. When I turn my left turn signal on, it shows what's on the left of me. When I look at my trailer, I can look down so I can see that I'm lining up with something. Um, I can look back or I can have a wide view. So I have all of these great camera controls. And again, if you're trying to aim for that picnic table, you just turn that 360 on and you will not miss it. Or you could avoid it even more importantly. So super cool features there. Let's turn this on. Um, Peasant class, if you want to get yourself into like the keyless, you got to get like a London Air. I know, it's crazy. All right, no, seriously, you'll have to have a key. But you don't really need a key because there's a key fob outside. So you could leave this right here inside this like little drawer. You know, like you could leave your keys up here and inside here and then lock your drawers and uh, lock your coach with a little push of a button and you wouldn't even have to bring your keys with you, which is super nice. Okay, so new, again, I keep saying new for 2023. New for 2023, you have a def gauge on the Freightliner uh, dash right down below so you can tell whether or not you've got def and a fuel gauge. So everything is on one screen regardless of what screen you're on. Um, so that's super cool. We also have a uh, shortcut to our, um, to our drive assist feature. So when we, when we have our comfort drive, we have a shortcut button so we don't actually have to go all the way into that. And then we can also go through we got tire pressure monitors that not only tell you all eight of your tires on your coach, but you could actually wire this to show you your tow vehicle as well. Um, so we love that. You can see right now, this is going to be pretty cool. So I'm going to start this bad boy up. Oh, there we go. All right. So your engine brake off low. See right there. It says low, medium, high, that is so nice to know where you are in the world of engine brake. Also, your stop control to put the coach into drive, neutral or reverse is right here, which means I have more room for my cup holders and my power window over here on my armrest because I'm using, instead of having my Allison pad, I have an Allison stop control. And then I also have the ability still to shift with mobile or automatic. And I also have a new feature where I have the ability to go in between 
economy and uh, and regular drive. An economy, what it does is it just changes my shift point, so I'm shifting more frequently. And honestly, if you look at the torque band on a Cummins L9 engine, the torque band actually performs better at lower RPMs. So driving in economy mode may give you better power going down the, the road and better fuel efficiency at the same time, which is pretty amazing. Um, okay, so wiper control here, right? Turn signals, squish the water, all that stuff. And then here you've got your parking lights, your headlights, and I love having auto. Auto is such a good feature. Now, if I had my phone, I would show you how I could put my phone there and charge it, but I don't know where my phone is, so I'm not gonna show you that. But that's that's where you would put your phone. That's pretty cool, like that. Um, okay, we're gonna go ahead and roll, close our window. We've got power mirrors. Um, they are heated. Um, I showed you the camera already. We have our little pedals can come all the way out. Do you see those, Marlon? Ready, I'm gonna push them in. So adjustable pedals, so for those of you who are like me, you're vertically challenged, uh, you can actually go ahead and put your pedals all the way fast back so that you can push your chair up far enough to be able to drive the RV. Super nice. Um, mobile eye system, so we'll talk a little bit about mobile eye and collision mitigation. So you cannot turn collision mitigation on and off, but your mobile eye will let you know whether or not you are in the lanes and you also have adaptive cruise control on this coach. That's an optional feature. This one does have it. Um, and what's nice about um, the collision mitigation system though is it's gonna be a standard feature on this coach and you don't have to worry about you know um, looking up and realizing that you need to get your foot to your brake. This coach will th start to stop if it senses that you're going to run into the back of somebody automatically so that by the time your foot gets over to, there, to that brake pedal, you've already engaged the braking mechanism. Um, that's a pretty cool feature. A lot of cars have these types of systems nowadays. It would make sense that something this size would have that feature as well. So uh, really cool that you start having you know, your lane tracking packages and your collision mitigation warning and your automatic cruise control, all those things helping you have a better drive. Um, and then again, talking about the steering effort here. So just so we understand, so comfort drive, when you see it set, you know, you've got more and less, so you can turn it higher and lower. If you're tracking down the road and you would like to make sure that you um, are not getting what we call driver fatigue for having to correct the steering wheel in a very strong crosswind, Class A's are known for being like large non-aerodynamic bricks. Um, this steering will track straight for you. So if you turn this wheel the whole way around, it basically does not want to go there. It wants to go back. Um, so if I put this into, uh oh, there goes the, into drive, and push my parking brake, and I had my steering uh, in, it would it literally will hold. Let's see if I can get this to do this. Oh, tire scrub. Okay, don't worry. I owe you a set. Check that out though. So this is the steering wheel just doing this on its own. It wants to get back to straight. And then what happens is if I have it set to more going down the road, instead of me fighting um, the wind, this coach will allow me to turn effortlessly and easy. Again, we have that independent front suspension, but it will also, um, it will also, uh, there it goes, isn't that crazy? Um, I better put it back in neutral, okay. It will also, uh, keep my coach, my steering wheel going straight for me while I'm going down the road. So that's that's a really great feature. Um, now, the other thing it can do for you, um, I've talked to somebody about this uh, recently. So we have, of course, this extra tag axle because all coaches that are 40 and 30, 43 feet in the Dutch Star segment or any of the Numars that are uh, from Ventana up have a second tag axle. And then what that tag axle is doing, the tag axle is actually, um, it's got a pin that releases and allows the wheel to pivot. And you'll actually be able to see it when you're driving. Um, if you are going below you know, 26 miles an hour and you're turning in, you'll see that wheel actually turning, preventing tire scrub, which is great. But on top of it, it's also giving you a much shorter turning radius. It takes about 17 feet off of the, the circumference of the circle that you can turn. Um, so a 17 foot smaller uh, turn in an RV this size is really important. Um, but so 
when you're when you're backing up and you want to go straight, you can use comfort drive. Comfort drive after you get the coach lined up will keep your RV tracking not only forward but also straight back because 90% of RVing accidents happen while in reverse. So really cool feature, very important aspect of the Freightliner chassis. Um, you know the way that the Freightliner chassis work, they do so many things. Whether you know it be you know your um, your comfort drive, whether it be um, I'm sorry, that's that's a Numar feature that's on a Spartan too. By the way, comfort drives on all of our coaches. Uh, but no, but whether it be like brake sync, for instance, which gives you an extra charged uh, container of air, so that if your air brakes fail, you can still stop your tow vehicle. It also is what allows you to be able to see your tire pressures on your uh, on your dash up here. Your independent front suspension. Um, your better turning radius, all of those things that are offered on your Freightliner chassis, um, there's options, man. And when you go to the Freightliner factory and you watch them building and assembling these Freightliner chassis, you always know when you're getting a Numar because it has all of the features, it has all of the good options. Numar does not, uh, does not cut corners when it comes to the foundation and the infrastructure of this beautiful house that we've walked through today because Today's, today's video is really a feature benefit about um, the accoutrement, the, the, the dressing up of. It is not a tech video. We do tech videos too. I would take two hours. Um, I know Marlon's already exhausted. <laughs> He's squishing his face. Um, you know, but no, so I wanted to really focus on the house today, but please understand that the way that this, co this, this coach is, is built is so important and makes such a difference. Um, now, what we are going to do, so we covered a lot of the camera stuff. We didn't cover the nav and go or the fact that you can sync your phone, you know, to the speakers or, you know, all of those other things, which you can do. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to pull our slides in before I turn my generator off. So let's go ahead and do uh, Ian. And then while we're doing this, um, so you can see I've got the awning out. I'm going to leave one awning out on each side so that you can see those from the outside. But look at how much sun protection we are having from um, that awning inside of this coach. So those are our awnings. Um, again, that is an optional feature, but I think it's so important for those of you that are looking for more of a residential or full-time experience. And then take a look at how hardy this slide mechanism is. This is not a cord, man. This is a serious chain. And again, us partner, our partnership with HWH um, is what has allowed us to have these fantastic TV lift down. Um, just so you know, folks, you should not drive with your TV lift up. Um, you should always drive with it down. But right past that, you're gonna see there's another awning there. And so that, that little awning right there, Marlon, can they see it? You got it over there. Ah, uh, yes. Again, making a huge difference in the amount of heat. Oh, and by the way, that place where I want you to keep your, to your coffee pot and your toaster oven, I don't know if you can get that sticky stuff that makes things stay on the counter, but that, that stays stationary. Um, and the rest of the island comes in on this floor plan. But one of the best things about this floor plan is really, folks, take a look at the walking space here. Now you'll notice I have this cute little stuffy. For those of you that are missing Brian Moritz, he just had a very adorable little daughter. That's a toy I just bought for her. Um, and he is also now our sales manager. So you uh, should know he has been promoted into the ranks. That's why you don't see as many videos. Take a look at how crazy this walking room is. So we are not known for an easy to walk through coach when your slides are in. This is a lot of room giving me access to again, that fantastic pantry. I have access to my refrigerator. I'm gonna go ahead and lock that so I don't forget to do it later. I have access to my bathroom so I can get all the way in here. I mean, this is really pretty crazy space. Oh, hey, there's my clipboard and my cell phone way back there. No, folks, I'm not gonna go get it, it's okay. Um, after doing as many videos as I have done and after owning um, a 2022 Numar, I feel like I really have a good command over the differences between the coach. I think it's important too, as a consumer to understand th there's a right coach for everybody. Um, not everybody needs everything. And when you call me and we sit down and talk about how, what you're trying to accomplish, 
uh, the type of camping you do, where you plan on going, what you like to, you know, what you like to, who you like to bring with you, what like what you like to be able to bring with you. Um, I can help. Look at this, plenty of room to get to the wine, folks. Who's got their priorities straight? Numar does. No, but seriously, um, when you call me, I can help you walk through and understand um, why you know you might consider one level versus another. And it's so funny because whenever I find someone who finds that right level of coach, what's so interesting about them is they get, they get the right level and they go, well, of course everybody wants that. And I always say, no. Oh, look at you could have two PlayStations in here. All the fun. Um, okay, so Marlon, we're gonna trade places because behind you, there is another feature worth mentioning. You could have a TV here, or you could just have a ton of storage. So this coach does not have the optional television. Um, it only has two inside and then one outside. So this RV only has three TVs. Oh, woe is me. Okay, so we just did all of that slide mechanism control here. We've got our wine guard. This is gonna be our, um, our little razor antenna. It's searching for how many stations are in the area. This is how we extend and retract all of the awning covers outside. Um, these are just all for lights and security lights. You can see I have this on. This Oasis system is off right now. You could turn the burner on. If you were running the burner system, this would be burning diesel fuel to run the, uh, the boiler outside in your Oasis to get that uh, tube of hydronic heat uh, or the tube of hydronic liquid hot uh, to run your, uh, your um, HVAC system and to heat your water, you'll usually want to have the burner on to take a shower. That will get you up to 120 degrees the fastest. But if you're just trying to keep the coach warm and it's nice weather, you've got AC1 or AC2. AC heat is going to be pole, uh, pole heat or running off of your inverter if, you're, uh, if your batteries are fully charged. This coach has an extra package which gets it up to eight, uh, eight batteries. But if you're using this AC1 or AC2 system on a cold, cold day, your hot water may not get as hot as you want. You might want to turn that burner on. Um, this is your Magnum Inverter Control. I can't really show you much because the screens are pretty dark, but keep in mind this is all stuff that you can see on your phone. And then this is your Gerard Awning Control. I am going to try to put these out right now. We will see if they go. Um, they were out earlier. They got blown in. Uh, they are on wind sensors. Please do not depend on your wind sensor to close your awning on a windy day. That is a bad idea. You may come back and not have an awning because if those gusts pop up while you're not there, it could be a problem. Um, they do have a motion sensor though. So this is my step cover. Um, as you can see here, these are recliners, both of them. There's power seats. And then on this side, you can see, again, you can turn this one around as well. It's the power seat. This is the normal size seat. Um, I will have to measure the, the depth of a queen seat in another video. But one thing I've heard is that people like the smaller seat. Uh, in 2023, Numar moved this seat back so you'd have easier entrance here. Um, but people like having their armrests. Uh, closer so that there is more there's uh, their their armrests are easier to, to reach and the Queen's seat tends to be a little bit wider I've also had the opposite comment where people have small dogs. We get a lot of people with teacup chihuahuas we Get a lot of teacup chihuahuas true story, um, but they fit in the seat with people really well So the width between these uh, two armrests is 23 inches on the non Queen's seat so Hopefully that helps you uh, in the future make that decision. If you want the wider seat, it is an option. Heat is also an option on these seats. So these are heated seats. Um, okay, so now we're coming down the stairway. We already talked about the outlet here. There's another wireless charging dock here though. And then another two USB ports back here. And then we also have our desk. So that's a really nice feature, good place to keep a cup of coffee while you're going down the road, getting your day started, maybe looking at some camp reservations, maps, whatever it may be that you are, that you are looking to do. Uh, there's a nice little storage compartment down here as well. And then here we have, again, all important, lock and unlock. And again, there's a key fob for that, but that is a really, really nice feature to have uh, because you can unlock all of your baggage doors just by pushing a button um, if you don't know the code. Now, if you know the code, 
Uh, there's a code here. You can also unlock all of the baggage doors here on this handle. So this handle is super cool. First of all, it glows so that you can find the door to your coach on a really dark night. If you're camping, of course, there's not always great overhead lighting depending on where you are. So you can find your door, you can lock and unlock your door here, and you can lock and unlock all of your baggage compartments. And then also here you'll see, we've got a great place for anyone who's got a puppy that wants to keep their water dishes and their pet food. Like tons and tons of room here. Should we measure how deep it is, Marlon? Let's measure it. Woohoo! Going crazy with the measuring tape today. All right, so we're looking at about 16 inches deep there. So if you've got a bag of dog food or kitty chow or kitty litter or whatever that you need to keep in there, that is a great feature. Oh, let's turn that bad boy off. Hey, look it, we got one. The other one wouldn't come out. Um, this one will probably go in, but that's okay. So these awnings are so cool. So here's your door awning. Here's that, here's that awning that we had behind the television that I was asking Marlon to get a good shot of. Again, if you've got light coming in to that part of your room and you want to keep the heat out, these are just fantastic. But then these big, beautiful drawer awnings, as you can see, they have a pitch to them. So they're a dual pitch awning, giving you that much shadow. Um, again, this is 150 gallon fuel capacity in here. And then you've got your Dometic on a slide. If you had your slides out, this actually extends all the way past the slide so that you can still get into it. And then you can program this to be either all freezer, all refrigerator, half and half, whatever you'd like to be. And as you can see, there's a nice compartment here where you can keep, if you wanted to keep maybe some hamburger patties and stuff down below, you have a little compartment where you can take everything out. And then of course, this is for Prosecco. We just got back from Jackson Hole, Wyoming. We went to the Rendezvous Festival, which by the way, was a rocking good time. Um, and we had to like give booze away because we didn't drink it all. So see, I'm not an alcoholic folks, I swear. <laughs> no, we really, we, we did. We bought a bottle of the market, never even got to it. All right, two feet deep. Wow, that is so crazy. Two feet deep. Now, why is this shelf so important? And then 46 inches wide. Do you know why this shelf is so important? Because, oh, and you can inflate your paddleboard from that little plug right there. I love that. Um, no, this is important because when you've got a bunch of stuff you want to put in your freezer, you need a place to put it down. So I just love that fact that, uh, oh, new for 2023, we have easier to close doors. True story. Okay, remember how I talked about how I don't have this? I don't. Look at that pass through. Holy macaroni. So much storage. Now there's a lip here. So if you really want to know, your chassis rail interferes with you at about 14 and a half inches tall. So anything 14 and a half inches tall can be put in this tray. But the cool thing is, is you can lay things flat because you can get them all the way inside. That's got a thousand pound capacity. And then you'll notice when we open these compartment doors, again, we talked about this foundation and how important this star foundation is uh, to, to Numar and how important this Freightliner uh, foundation is to Numar. So the STAR Foundation stands for Strong, True, and Robust. That is where you see these, these big tubes of steel taking the heavy weight from the slides and pushing it towards the center of the coach, so giving you a lower center of gravity and then more support on your heavy slide mechanisms. Um, this is what allows Numar to give you so much extra storage because as you can see, the chassis rail is actually about, oh, five and a half inches below the subfloor. Now keep in mind, so they build this foundation up to a flat level, it's called Big Bertha. So they build the foundation up, then they make it completely level. Then they take that whole entire tile floor and they don't tile underneath the furniture. They actually leave cutouts. They mount the furniture to that three inch thick subfloor that has all of your insulation, all of your uh, Luan wood, um, they, they, they make a, a pattern like this in the Luan wood. It's like an S pattern so that when they put it together, it doesn't slide like this. So it stays together because it's kind of locked in place, if you will. Um, they, they put, and then they mount the tile to that Luan wood and they bake it on a table after it's cured and it's warmed up by an actual a t a heated table, they lift up the, the tile wood or the tile floor and then they bring it over and they put it down on top of the foundation. 
So what does that do? This star, found, this star foundation is, stands for strong, true, and robust. But what it really does is it gives you less tile popping, less shifting while you're in motion, less creaking. It gives you a much, much cooler coach in the summer going down those hot asphalt roads and a much warmer coach in the winter. Um, so all of those things really add to the drive uh, characteristic of a Numar. And that star foundation is from the country star all the way up. Um, again, depending on how much camping you're doing and how much driving you do, different coaches at different levels may be more appropriate for you. I'm more than happy to help you walk through some of those things. But what's so nice about this Dutch Star is, you know, with its residential construction, with its really thick subfloor, with its really vast amount of storage, I mean, how, how deep is this? Let's go ahead and measure. I mean, people need to know this stuff. So this is gonna be uh, 71 inches deep. And then what's nice about this compartment is because of the fact that there's no slide tray in here, you've got 18 and a half inches of clearance um, at the where, where the chassis is. And then you have, oh my gosh, almost 30 inches at this compartment door. And then in terms of width, you've got 44 inches across. So huge storage for those of you who are trying to bring electric bikes um, I measured that for you. I, I get a lot of people who want to put, or mountain bikes, who want to put their bikes underneath that bay. Hopefully that measurement helped you. Um, here's your road vac. This is where you would vacuum off your children or your dog or your boyfriend, whoever happens to be the dirtiest. There's the little, uh, the little things. Now again, with a Dutch star, because this is an all tile floor, you really don't need to use those tubes inside uh, because you can just sweep to that kick plate. Um, but yeah, this is a fantastic amount of storage place. You could put your barbecue in there. We, we carry a lot of smokers here. Um, of course, you could keep your margarita blender in there because this is where you keep your top shelf on the top and mixers down below. Uh, we have here an Innie and an Audi. Whenever you have an Audi, just like the front wheel is an Audi, the rear wheel is an Audi, that's because they pivot. So this is your drive. This one's gonna stay straight. This is your turn, your, uh, your uh, turning radius is going to hinge from here to this front wheel because, again, this uh, rear wheel has a, the ability to pivot, giving you um, a much, much tighter turning radius because your center is actually here. But all that being said, if you hit a really good bump, you have this extra support back here. And so this is what takes the Dutch Star from at a 37 foot coach uh, to a 40 or 45 or 43 foot coach from a 5,000 pound towing capacity to a 15,000 pound towing capacity. So this is a really big difference maker here. Um, now in terms of wheels, of course, 22 and a half is really important, but these are 315s. Um, so giving you a, a bigger tire also gives you, this is your first defense against, um, against uh, the roughness or drive characteristics going down the road. If you want a nice supple feel, these 315s are amazing at giving you um, that thicker sidewall, giving you that first level of cushion uh, going into your uh, frame, um, giving you a better ride characteristics. Um, you're, so one of the nice things of the Dutch Star is you do have a dual fill def tank. As you saw, that you, so that new gauge on your dash will tell you when you need def, but you can fill uh, not only your 150 gallons of fuel, but also your def at the same time. We've got our chassis batteries back here. And then of course, this is the, this is the chamber where you burn off all of uh, those diesel particulates, that's what makes this a low emissions vehicle. Uh, again, 450 horsepower. Um, this is a really, really fantastic uh, thing to behold. Of course, because the radiator's on the side, we can have, you can see there's the bottom of that closet right there, right? So there's a, that extra closet space where we had that huge compartment to keep your laundry. Here's your Oasis fluid. And then everything that's in here in red is your Cummins engine. Again, this is that L9 that 8.9 liter Cummins. And then everything in black is going to be through your Freightliner and that, that is gonna be your chassis. So um, as you can see here, we talked about brake sync. You're already wired up for that. Seven pin connector right here. Again, 15,000 pound capacity. And what's interesting about having a 15,000 capa pound capacity on a Dutch Star is you actually have 15,000 pounds. A lot, of, uh, a lot of hitches are rated for a weight rating, but when you load up the coach, you have to subtract how heavy that coach is 
uh, from its GVWR before you can actually know what your towing capacity is. Numar is the only manufacturer that I've ever seen that really will not overbuild a coach to give you a true 15,000 pound weight capacity on the back of it. It's really amazing. Uh, new end cap this year. So you can see this beautiful new end cap. This is the Allura exterior and interior paint job. It's what we saw today. Of course, it's a little bit modified, but it's absolutely beautiful. You've got that overhead camera up top as well as this one down below. This is part of your 360 and your backup camera package. Here's your side radiator, your egress door, your venting and opening windows. Here's what the uh, awning package looks like closed. And then down the way, you can see what it looks like open. Again, dual fill for your desk. Nice, beautiful Alcoa, bright finished wheels, just gorgeous, gorgeous wheels. This is a great little compartment. Um, so I like, there's a, we carry a, a, a hose that you can actually break into two 10 inch segments. That's about 20 inches deep. And it is, call it 11 by six at the opening. This compartment though is where you would keep a black water hose. If you did not have the optional SantaCon system, uh, I did equip this car, this coach with the SantaCon system, so this does have the SantaCon system, as well as a whole house water filter. I love that the Dutch Star has a place to hang your paper towels, a place to keep your uh, shower head. You've got hot and cold water in here, uh, and again, the SantaCon system just sucks everything out, makes it that much easier. And I'm gonna. Okay, so you guys, it's gonna be 70 to get today, but tomorrow it's gonna snow, so I'm gonna close this. <laughs> I think it was like, it is, I think it snowed three times last week and like by the next day all the snow was gone. So we're just at that time. The spring in Colorado has got, you know, ADHD, it doesn't know where it wants to be. Um, okay, so here is your uh, power cord on a power reel, button right here to roll everything in. This has the optional surge protector. Um, again, all this stuff you can monitor on your phone now for 2023, which is huge. Your Oasis system, we talked about that dual loop Chinook system. Inside of the system, I did a video a few weeks back where I showed you the boiler system coming in. Uh, you can see where the hot and cold water would come out. Now you can see it's also filled up with winterizer. Um, but keep in mind, uh, these bays down below are heated and they're on a thermostat. So you can go ahead and keep everything uh, down below from freezing when you're camping. Again, all the way out to 60%. Tons and tons of storage capacity here. And I don't like power. I like to be able to push them and open them uh, manually. I think that's faster. Um, but, you know, however you want to do it, it's fine with me. There's the other side of this one. Not going to pull that out. We already pulled that bad boy out on the other side. And then opposite of your refrigerator is where you'll find your eight AGM batteries. Now keep in mind, um, this has got 800 amp hours of battery, capa uh, battery capacity. We do now own Winnebago, our parent company just bought Lithionics. Uh, you can get an optional lithium ion battery pack for this coach. This coach does not have the second inverter, which is what you would need to be able to run your air conditioning system while you're going down the road without having your generator on. So if you wanna know more about Lithionics, if you wanna know more about um, the difference in costs, uh, in my experience with camping and where I think you need it, where I think you don't, I would love to be able to help walk you through some of those questions because it's, it's expensive, you know, and a lot of times people don't need it. And then there's some places where you absolutely have to have it. So, you know, we should have that dialogue. Again, second half of your dual fill tank here, 305s in the front tires, 315s in the back. As I mentioned earlier, super easy to access, very clearly labeled, extra fuses right here as well. Uh, this is your side camera. If you get an Essex, it's built into the mirror because you're fancy. No, so I think, okay, if money wasn't an object, I would probably buy an Essex because I really love them. Um, but if I was trying to be frugal and have a really nice class A, I'd get a Dutch Star. So I don't know. And I have a Ventana or a Superstar, same level, but whatever. I don't know. I, I love, I love new Mars. I'm drank, I drank the Kool-Aid. Uh, there's that 10 kilowatt generator. This of course has an optional hot water line here. This air chuck can fill up, uh, there's a hose that's included in the package that can get you to all your tires. So if you get a tire with low air pressure, you can fill that up. Um, we've got new headlights this year. 
These are just a little bit brighter and easier to see at night. Um, so that's a great new feature. Um, the mobile eye has a haptic feedback in your seat now if you leave, if you leave the lanes. Um, there's no blind spot monitor on this coach. You've got to go up a few levels before you get the blind spot. But you've got really big, beautiful chrome convex uh, side mirrors. And again, those cameras. Uh, this is stock number 5N221519. Again, 5N221519. Um, yeah, like I said, I designed this coach from the ground up. I was waiting and so excited for it to come in. Thankfully, Grant did a more of a tech spec video on it too. So there's two videos out on this coach. I would like to sell it to you. Um, that's why I make these videos. Uh, you'll find all my contact information down below. Again, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in sunny for today, Frederick, Colorado. And we would love to know how we can help get you on the road and camping. Thanks for tuning in.